let's open our first game let's go all right so first game here to unknown very nice very good uh that's exactly what we are looking for and we want to achieve so we start here h5 or we just fold i mean against to to unknown uh and as you might know if uh if there is an unknown you don't know anything about him you didn't tag him you don't have any stat uh you can start uh first consider him as a as a recreational and then go from there so this is auto attack recreational uh the guy did limp from the button so we are taking him as a, a recreational uh, and uh yeah and big mistake i did here is that i used my uh my right click and uh not a long time ago i add a right click as uh, as a host key for all in so that's what i'm using for all in um so be very careful that's uh that's something you you don't want to have at your tables but again the limb from the button especially the deeper we are the more recreational tend to fold um but it was three four off i guess and that's that's not very smart <laughs> uh maybe not that loose even that even though yeah we will have something around 80 85 percent um which will give you uh if you did the calculation hrc it will give you um uh, that's any two it's uh it's a plus ev either show but you you still have the ev of check back so uh if you make the difference it will not be really worth it um here i'm limping um i guess this guy is uh is a regular um i remember the name um on this board texture uh if it's if it was monotone and yeah like not not on a low board i would still go for a for a uh, for a bet here on the flop but um on a low board we just uh, we just avoid after we hit the tree we have we have showdown uh if he is showing aggression i'm just going to to fold it here I uh, open fold and queen jack. We just go for an iron shove. Uh, sorry, open shove here. Uh, he call with deuces. It's a flip. It's fine. Uh, he's still in. We have nothing against this. And he's thinking a little bit and then open shoving. This is if he's a rag. This should be a call. Um, we are at 10.7. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's a good rag or not. Uh, at this point, so I skip this call. Even though, like, um, it can be for for some guys, it can be like a a snap call, but it's not. Uh, it's not like printing. And as far as uh, uh, like I do, some guys are doing the opposite. So like they if they don't know that uh, their edge is uh, is quite high they still take the the plus ev calls uh, but uh yeah like i if i don't know the the guy in front of me uh or like i don't know that the edge is quite close i just go and uh and avoid marginal spots all right we will not lose time and go for another one now it's a two rag game um yeah i will not talk too much about the tendencies of the rags or um what they are doing what they are playing uh, just yeah like just respecting them uh the, we don't want to start giving uh info about uh rags also about my tags um yeah like they like the right tag i'm i was using it before but nowadays i'm just using actually like the two two tags plus notes so rag tag um with green and recreational tag with uh 
uh, with the blue, uh, light blue. And um, here I'm going for a call, still defending A10. We are hitting an open ended straight throw. Uh, if he's C betting, I'm going for a raise, mostly check shoving. He's making this a half pot, so it gives us a better uh, check shove. Uh, he can still have falls, that's 100% uh, in his range. But even if he's calling, uh, we are ahead against, uh, not ahead, but we are flipping against most of his range because we have open ended straight throw. Uh, did we had the backdoor flash draw? Yes, we had the backdoor flash draw and one overcard to the top pair, one overcard to the second pair. So he ended calling with the, with the second pair and there we were even slightly ahead. So the, the check shove, fold the equity plus uh, having good equity is, um, is the way to go there. Uh, right, 6 4 here uh, against a rag, ace high dry board. He should be C betting a tiny bit over the top. Uh, don't like to call here because most of the time we'll uh, have a high card, and the high card uh, is a qual high frequency C bet on the turn. We have uh, just a gut shot, even if we hit a 6 or a 4, we, we are not very happy. And since he will be C betting a ton not he again but uh most of the that's a weird sizing here um yeah like you want to have increased sizing uh, with this stack depth but not uh not creating a very uh, weird spr on the uh, on the flop because there we might get uh committed in some spots where we uh where we might be folding so i just skip the call there and here we just open shove, jack 8, he's calling jack 6, very good. And, yep, that should do it. And we go to another one. It's nice. Uh, we defend here against the 2x, we check 3 suited. Uh, against, uh, again, it's a 2-rack game, which is fine. Um, uh, King, deuce, deuce, he's sitting with one big blind. Uh, it's a raise pot. Um, yeah. I'm going for a raise here, uh, just because he will not be able to defend uh, correctly with his whole range because on this king deuce deuce uh, he will be over c betting and if he has a high min raise frequency um, all his 8 9 um, queen high uh, jack high type of hand they uh, they are not having a high card like if it was like King King Deuce, then they are having an uh, overcard to, to to the non paired card, while here is the opposite. Uh, and without an ace, without a king, it will be hard for him. Like, he might be defending Queen Jack, Queen Ten, but that, that's just a small part of his range. Uh, but after they call, I'm just going for a give up. Uh, Woo hoo! It's a full house. <laughs> Slow playing there. Um, but yeah, I'm still happy with the, with my play there. King nine suited. I take the call here from the small blind. Uh, it's again a two red game. It's definitely fine. And the seven is was good if the six didn't pair. <laughs> Let's continue. Uh, so this is the guy we had the first spin and now I will not right click uh, this is the other way to tag so you just double click on him go bottom left tag him as a recreational oh sorry 
sorry mr inhuman co just in case you will be watching this you are not a recreational at least for now <laughs> and we tag him as a as a wreck uh ace five suited here um this guy will yeah i go for a limp and a limp shove um yeah because of his tendencies he might be i to shove and i mean uh i say that will not uh, share uh lots of infos but uh yeah i will i will say it like this i will adapt against him this play and yeah we are hitting an ace which is quite good for us because we are not perceived to have a lot of aces and i think he's going to call us down with a 10 um if he's shoving on the turn i'm going to fold uh if he's not i would put him more on a 10 like gto wise he should be just calling all his flushes but given the fact that he might be calling king high he might be calling 10x uh i still go for the shove here who <laughs> two tricky guys trying to get the max value with their ace and just ending up with splitting have another hand and it's a three uh, offsuit uh i mean against shove here we call against the shove here we call hold we take that happy to take it no problem it's still free chips so we shouldn't be um upset or whatever because they both hold free chips are always welcome i take it now again oh Oh, no, he's limping. That's interesting. Uh, at eight, big nine. Yeah. Uh, so far, I don't have enough info about him. I don't know how his play style. I'm hitting a nine. It's a mid pair, no kicker. Just checking, trying to um, yeah, get something. Uh, he might also be limping some seven, eight. Um, but I don't see him slow playing Jacks plus maybe some pocket tens. But I I see here myself already having a value bet. So I go for it. Maybe he doesn't know me as well. Um and thinking that I'm uh I'm an unknown slash recreational uh and therefore just limping loose. Which is fine. As I said, uh, I think in uh First or second spin, check back is uh, as his own EV, and if we are doing it, it's very good already. Uh, queen five, yeah. Since we see him as a rag, take it. It's an ace ten, ace ten, open shoving at six point five. Yeah, that's that should be fine, but uh, depending on uh, on the iso frequency of your opponent you can think of uh, putting it into the limping range all right let's have one more hopefully if we can get some players nice uh finally uh a rag and recreational oh sorry yeah unknown let's let's call it like that as i see an unknown i'm already happy uh especially the the higher the higher we play i mean on 25s you might get enough uh recreationals but the higher you get the the less you will have and then you are just happy to to see a non-tagged player nice we get a flip against a regular and we hold that's very good so we are heads up against a known jack three off we check back uh he's c button we fold nothing much we can do here 
a6 of we are at blind 20 15 big blind effective uh i don't want to open shop against unknown so i'm going for a min raise and this is not a board in a min raise spot where you will have a lot of folds because when you min raise you are making his range way tighter and therefore the auto folds the hands like nine three off seven deuce off all those type of hands they are just uh they already did fall so now he will have jack high vector flash roll um queen nine uh some gut shots and all this kind of stuff i have a little gut shot here and overcard to the top air so i'm going for a call and then uh, he's checking here i'm definitely going for a bet and i don't want to make it super small so i'm going to make it like something around 4.1 uh, just to make him fold his uh, 8x, 10x, 7x. Uh, because yes, we have ace high, but in this board texture, I don't expect ace high to have a lot of showdown value. So bluff in there is definitely fine. 10-7, uh, I don't want to face a check jam, even though we will have good equity against his check jam in range, but I want to have... Uh, like if I'm playing in a game where I expect my edge to be good, I want to take my EV as high as possible and 50% isn't enough for me. So I try to hit my straight, I try to hit my 10 and then I get a 10. So here we hit our straight, he's betting two big lines, it's already a sign that he is having something strong. So we go for the shove and he is uh, with a king six. Now it's way better. We got 100% of EV and that's exactly what we want instead of just flipping um, uh, on the flop. Uh, all right, that was a good session, I guess. Uh, hope you liked it. Make sure to follow us, comment, ask whatever you want. If you are not in our Discord community, feel free to join. Uh, it's completely free and see you next time. Bye bye everyone.